All right, guys, today we're going to be playing some Face Hunter. Right now, this is currently the second best rated deck or second best rated class on Hearthstone Replay. So I thought I'd give it a chance again. Uh, we're playing pretty much the same build that we've been playing for a minute. Um, the only unique things in here, we're playing Mark Shot because I like discovering spells. Uh, we are playing copy a copy of Quick Shot because I like to draw cards. And of course, a full playset of collateral damage because this card just wins you games sometimes. And um, yeah, let's go see if we can win some games. Yeah, if y'all are interested in a story based card game, we're going to have an opening at the end of this video for Booster Brat. Uh, they sent me some free products, so I just want to show you guys at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, right now. I don't know. I'm not feeling the best. I um, I just got done playing Shaman, and I had like a solid like, oh man, I had like a solid five or six losses in a row, man. You know, Shaman really fell off, brother. I don't know what it is. I maybe I'm just unlucky, and I just am bad at the game or something. I don't know, but I just got really, really unlucky. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not feeling Shaman right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some Face Hunter. I'm feeling some face on her. Let's go, Slither Spear. Oh, I don't like that. What do you slither into uh, Trinket Tracker? I'm hoping I just don't draw bananas, but I mean, we'll see. All right, this is a great turn to do Monkey. Monkey. Drop the Monkey. I'm going to go into a turn two monkey, into a turn three monkey, into a turn four monkey. Pretty good, pretty good plan, if I do say so myself. Um, we're going to be able to get a banana next turn, so in case we need it, we can we can just get that going. Oh, yeah, you're not going to trade. I bet you're not. Oh, where's my Aerosmith when I need it? Um, if only I drew Aerosmith, that would have been crazy. I'll drop another monkey. Do I want to trade right now? Man, you know what would be really nice? Getting this barb nets off. I'd love to drop a turn four school teacher. That, that would be so nice. Oh, man. That would be so nice. Uh, what does this deck even have to clear with, right? I don't think it has anything necessarily, but I don't want anything with a divine shield on the board necessarily. Yeah, we'll trade it. It's fine. Um, we're gonna have barb nets up after turn four, so I'm feeling I eat. I'm feeling I eat. He's gonna trade. He's gonna do it. He's gonna get the silverhand recruits. Reporting, uh, for duty. reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. You like that? That's my that's my silverhand recruit impression. Reporting for duty. Um, I guess we could just go school teach and just. I'm fine with actually just doing school teach. Um, deal two, draw companion or discover a spell from your deck. What spells am I playing? Uh, I'm playing like monkey. I'm playing barrel of monk. I'm playing barrel of monkey. I'm playing banana. It's not really anything I want to get, and everything's not what arcane. A what a sight! Shut up! Oh my god! I'm playing with all the ten-year-olds today, bro. I'm playing, with, I'm playing against all the children who think it's funny to emote. I don't know. Like out of all the things, emoting has just got to be like the most just not even irritating. It's just like shut up, right? Um. Conjured would be nice. Time moves quickly. Got anything good? Uh, no, so we're just gonna go ahead. You know, whatever he summons next turn, we got barb nets. We got the naggling, of course. You already know, brother. Best card in the game. The menagerie. Is for the the menagerie. Uh, we got spirit culture. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh, what does this do? Two damage. Uh, you do two, four, and then trade the slither spear if I really wanted to. Uh, 
that would do two four slither spear will be up to like three damage and i could just do school teach on top oh i can't do school teach i could do like spirit poacher or uh spe yeah spirit poacher um Is there any other way I can get more damage like that? I don't want to necessarily... Mm -hmm. Get... Two, four... Pick me! Pick me! So drop that, drop that. Are we gonna hope that's enough? I mean, we still got monkey. We still got school teach. Another school teach, might I add. Uh, and he's got ten cards in his hand, so he could have literally uh, anything. That isn't. Mmm. He has mana thirst. He has a light ray. Oh, that's something. I'm out of soda. What am I doing? I'm taking my empty cup and just drinking. Oh, Aerosmith would have been so cool like a few turns ago. That would have been so amazing. Uh, but we're going to just have to do that. Here can spell. Uh, quick shot's kind of cute. What, three damage I can trade off? Spirit Poacher and just... We'll take Quick Shot. I'll go bop, bop, do the three damage. Spit that out! Spit that out! Any questions? Oh, we almost... It's my turn! Just a taste! Yeah, we can almost do a, uh... Turn a collateral damage, which would be really nice. I'm not sure how that interaction works with uh, Divine Shield, but I, I'm hoping it just... I'm hoping it just uh, does zero and then, you know, whatever. Oh, cool. So he's going to do that. Next turn, we got, like, a pretty wild... I'm hoping we draw a spell. A, a spell would be really nice. Because if not, I'm going to be kind of... I'll be a little bit sad. Banana. Can I get banana? Banana, banana. Oh, we got baddie guess. We did not get the banana. Uh, so that's gonna hit bop, bop, bop. I got one spell. That is entirely disappointing. Um, I do have one spell that'll kill exactly sanguine soldier. Yeah, that's kind of... That is, in fact, kind of sus. That's a 6, 6, 12, 18 damage. So... Uh... What a delicious party! Okay, so I think I leave the 2-1 up, right? I'm gonna go for a risky play. Hey, if it pays off, it pays off. If it don't pay off, I lost already. So I'm already excessively behind with this board. This board is kinda kinda iffy. But we'll see how it works. I'm hoping. Remember this day. Oh, please don't hit the countess. Oh, if it hits the countess, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Okay, so I think I trade, trade. Oh, brother. Just a taste. Just a taste. Just a taste. Just a taste. Because I'm not sure how this works. You're playing with me, dog. You hit the, the one card. Oh, brother. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, so as long as you don't get anything with life steal, I win. If you get something with life steal, I oh man, I was like, 
as long as you don't hit literally exactly the countess, I win. Um, but then I hit the countess, so it's pretty cool. Um, he has to get something with lifesteal. Otherwise, that's literally just the game from Hero Power. Or, um, is there... I don't think they have any lifesteal in their deck. So... Look at this. I should start emoting now, right? You started emoting earlier. Like, what are you talking about? What are you doing, brother? I must move quickly. Yo! I'll clear the... The Windlord of the Shamans? That's crazy. Hey, let me hear a power. Let me hear a power. You won't let me hear a power, though. The victory is yours! Ah! He did it. He did it again. What will Mark not do? Let's go. That'll be the one win I make tonight. And then, like, I'll lose the next 10 games. And I just won't post him. <laughs> oh, brother. That's what I always say when I lose games. So I'm like, no, it's still a good game. Yeah, that was... Man, I just... I didn't want to hit the Countess, and it hit the Countess. That's sad. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the two-player starter set. So this is everything that you need in order to play against one of your friends. So we're going to go ahead and whip this baby out. You got the official Booster Brat roll book. This looks clean. I really like that. I also have two starter decks. You got the Spark and Captain. I know... Uh, my son, <laughs> my son already asked me if he could have Spark. Uh, so he's probably going to have Spark for sure after I play with some of my friends. So I'm going to show you guys some of the artwork on here. Got multiple copies of Spark. You got Fret, Theme Soldier, Sound Tracker, Space Cadet. This one is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's just a little dog. Spark's Laser Rifle. Sound Core ID, Nine Pocket Binder, Parental Hand, Acceptance Letter, Trading Card, Pocket to Your Portal, and then this also has like a little orientation thing that teaches you how to play the deck. I actually really like this a lot because it, it just shows you like how to play the deck. That's that's really cool. I don't see a lot of card games really like teaching you how to play your how to play this stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to actually play this. I'm going down to my local LGS today. I'm gonna go play some different card games. I'm gonna play some MetaZoo. Gonna play some Digimon. Gonna play some. Definitely gonna play some of this with my boy Enoch. Uh, this is this just looks really fun. Cutie Zard. <laughs> Look at that. Cutie Zard is a little sloth. That's adorable. S I can't pronounce that. It's a snipe though. Look at that. Star Drone, got a little Hornet thing. Rhino Chio, kind of reminds me of a uh, Nido King. I like that. That's pretty cool. Alistair's Teeth, Acceptance Letter. Oh, I guess some of these are the same cards. Wolf Dodge, e. And then you also have the orientation thing to show you how to play the deck. So yeah, we got those. Uh, actually, let me show you guys some of the extra cards they sent. They sent a share experience. This card looks pretty cool. I guess you, you get it for the early score box. We're going to rip this off and just whew, show you guys. I know someone in the comments right now is cringing. Mark, it's not a PSA 10 anymore, but oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks cool. That's cool. I'm a gamer, so I'm not... All about the PSA grades or whatever. That looks nice. Then we got a Conscriptor card. This card is actually really cool. If you if you go over the QR code, it'll bring you over to their social medias. That's pretty pretty solid. Other than that, we got um, build your own playmat. So if you want to build your own playmat, you got this right here. Now, I haven't like read the rulebook or anything. I haven't gone too far into the game yet, but I am looking to do that pretty soon. Let's go and see what we got in the building on playmat. You got the deck spot, collection spot, and then you got all the different zones. Yeah, so 
I guess the one really unique thing about this is that you can actually play it in a binder sleeve, which is pretty cool. Like that is actually just super unique. I've never seen that before. So you don't, you don't even have to have a play mat. You can just play it with your little binder sleeves. And then you got all these. You got another whole play mat thing. And it tells you, yeah, it tells you how to play the game on here too. That's really cool. So in case you guys don't want to read the rule book, I mean, you got like, you got like this right here. This just tells you how to play the game. That's really cool. So you got a nice little startup guide. So I'm going to make sure I bring those today with me. And, oh, this is also, this is actually after you and your friend play with the OG decks that you got. Uh, you can add these to them. We're not going to open it right now. We're going to keep this sealed because, nah, we're opening it. We'll, we'll, we'll open it up for the boys. We'll open it up for y'all on YouTube. Uh, and then we'll, I'll probably just shuffle it up a little bit so we can get random cards or whatever. But, this is uh, for after you and your friend play. Uh, you can swap out some of the cards. You got Rarity Badge, Rhino Chio 1.1, a Booster Pack, Parental Fist, Binky, <laughs> a little bird. Yeah, that's cool. Bubble Top Conversion Suit, Chase Card, Capped. Oh, are these. Ooh, wait, are these alt art? These are alt arts. They, they have to be, right? The, oh, that looks cool. Oh, this is the evolved agent. Okay, okay. So this is like, I guess like the power versions of the captains and the sparks. That's really cool. I was like, man, these alt arts look clean. Indoctrinate, bubble top conversion. Oh, these are like, ooh, these are like full hollows. Look at that. That's kind of clean. You got a mind keeper station. These are really cool. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and get some gameplay on, and I'll tell you guys how it is in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.